Hi everyone, this is Laura and I will be sharing a project with you today that I completed. Um, I just wanted to say first, welcome to all my new subscribers. If you happen to be tuning in for the first time, I am having uh, several giveaway challenges going on on my channel right now. Um, you have till October 30th and it is a die challenge. Um, I'm asking my friends to make video responses announcing my challenge. I'm also giving two giveaways. Uh, if you create a project using a diamond dies, you will be entered in a chance to win two dies. If you enter in the part of the challenge where you don't have a diamond dies, but you have a different die and you create something with that, you'll be entered in a separate, separate challenge for that all I need is a video response guys so if you want to take a look uh, a few videos back you'll get all the details for that challenge and I do sure hope that you guys participate because I'm gonna be giving some goodies away for that um, yeah I think that's about it and just a reminder for anyone who purchases any dies Using my coupon code, if you purchase the dies, um, let's say before 2 or 3 p.m. that afternoon, because you're using my coupon code, you will have same day shipping. Besides getting the 10% off and free shipping with my code, you will also have your dies or your purchases mailed out to you the same day, just to make sure that you have it in more than enough time to create your projects for my challenge giveaway. That being said, um, I've been working on so many projects of late and for those of you who are just tuning in to my channel, most of you know I have four children. I have two girls who are 13 and two big boys that are grown and out the house now. I am also the grandmother of a five-year-old little boy who's my heart and soul and um, I've been working on a lot of girl stuff lately. I'm all girled. Um, I'm all girls out and I have not given enough due time to my boys and my boy projects. And um, I was thinking of several of my friends when I was doing this layout, um, Jackie being one, Vicky and Ronnie being the others, Becca being another one. I have a lot of girlfriends out here who do not have daughters or they have more sons than daughters or they um, do more boy themed stuff. And I don't, I know for myself, I don't give my boys enough time when it comes to my projects because it's just so much easier to make the girl stuff. So I did do a layout. I did a double page layout. It's a boy themed layout and I want to share that with you real quick. But before I do that, I was going through my um, crafting room and I was going through some of my drawers and a lot of you uh, who watch me um, enough will know that I will make projects with the new products but I also like to bring back the old products because so many of us um, go out and sometimes we buy and we buy and we buy and we don't get to use them at that moment and sometimes we even forget that they're around um, I myself am very guilty of this one of the things that I remember and now mind you what I'm about to show you is about and I'm not lying, it's about six, seven years old. This is from We Are Memory Keepers. And um, this was a little history. This was made that long ago. I'm trying to, okay, this is from 2004. Okay, you see that? And that's not when I bought it. I bought it maybe after the fact. But this is about seven years old. And where I bought this at was there was a scrapbooking store when I lived in Delaware. My sister lived in Maryland. Um, I no longer live in Delaware. But when I lived in Delaware, there was a scrapbooking store called Recollections. Yes, this is a true story, people. They were a franchise scrapbooking store, sort of like archives. Um, and I would go there with my sister all the time because there were none in Delaware. They were only located in well, that particular store was located in Maryland. I don't know how many other stores nationwide they had because it was a franchise. But um, I used to go there 
um, not knowing anything about Joann's or Michael's or online shopping. This is when I first, first started scrapbooking. And we used to drop quite a penny in that store. And one of the things at that time that I have fallen in love with was um, these um, embossed die cuts that we are memory make. We, we are memory makers? Yeah. We are memory makers uh, used to make these. And I went out and bought about seven of them. So I was going through my drawers. And this is another example of another one that I purchased and never used. And why am I showing you this? Because I am going to be working on some future projects with these. I am not going to leave them in my drawer anymore. They are going to get used. Um, the project that I will be sharing with you now... <laughs> That's why I'm sharing this one with you because I actually used one of these to create a two-page layout. Um, why am I also sharing that with you? Because I think it's so important for us to every now and then honor those old products that we bought. I know many of us don't want to be bothered and we'll de-stash it or we don't have use for it. But you know what? I fell in love with this so much when I first saw it and I bought it that I would feel really bad about not using it now. Even though I've had it in my drawer for so many years, um, I am going to definitely make something with it. Um, the reason I tell you the story about the store recollections was because they were a scrapbooking store and they were bought out by Michaels at that time. They merged with Michaels and Michaels made an agreement with that scrapbooking company that... Um, they would like merge and they would take over the recollections name and they shut down every single scrapbooking store with that merge. So they don't exist anymore, but now you can find recollections and Michaels and now they're making their own products with their own name brand. So I guess that was part of the deal. Anyway, that was a trip down memory lane that took way too long. I'm sorry, guys. I was just, um, my only purpose of saying all that is just to encourage um, my, especially my new subscribers. We, um, and I'm speaking for myself, we sometimes forget all the fun we used to have with all the old products. Um, so I'm basically just taking a little quick trip down memory lane um, and putting those products back to use. So since I decided to go old school, and use something that I purchased years ago, I decided to go old school with my layout entirely. These are some of the layouts that, the style of my layout that I used to do way back when, before I started using lots of laces and embellishments. All we had was these sheets of embossed um, artwork and cardstock. So I decided um, doing a layout and going back in time a little bit. So that's what I decided to do. I have a two page layout here. And like I said, a lot of the embellishments that you will see on these layouts did come from that embossed sheet. So what I did was I took two pieces of black basil cardstock. I took some designer paper and again, honoring the fact that I'm using all the products I'm using here are ancient. Um, I took this designer paper here and I want you to paint. I love the colors. Can you see the little squares? They have like little doodling and squiggly lines in them. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I took my design and paper. I cut a quarter inch. I'm sorry, I cut half an inch on one side, half an inch on the other side. So I could have a quarter inch border going all the way around my paper. Um, I'm going to start at the top. The top uh, right hand corner, you will see three bat brads. I'm sorry. You will see three brads in green, orange, and blue. So, again, bringing my old embellies into play. This here, this little rickety stick, this is part of the um, car stock embellies that I just showed you, as is that little nail that I tucked in behind that. This here, this sign, Boys Will Be Boys, is the title of my layout. I added some eyelets. I just punched a hole and added some blue eyelets to every corner. Again, I used to play with a lot of eyelets back in the day. I don't use them 
nearly as much as I need to. Um, so I took that sign and I just layered it with some green cardstock and then some orange cardstock. Underneath that I have a metal star embellishment which is a brad again. I bought many many brads way back in the day and I still haven't used them all. And guys, this is just to give you an example. This is like one of 20. That's how many of them I still have not used. And this is from way, way back. Um, here is another one of the die cuts from that um, sticker sheet or die cut sheet. I just backed that up in orange. And I've distressed everything with vintage photo or black soot. Over here you have another one of those um, car stock embossed embellishments. Here I created a 4x6 photo mat and then I don't know if you can see that but on the edge here I distressed it. I backed it in black cardstock also in orange and then I added eyelets to the corner. But what I also did is I tried to uh, mimic that little squiggly line that's on the designer paper. I mimicked that on my cardstock. So I just randomly drew and doodled some lines just to give it a little border and some added interest. Um, I have a little nail on the side. This was also part of the um, embossed die cut kit as is the little worm on the hook that I have hanging off the page. And again, I don't glue it all down. I do leave room for the photos so we can tuck photos back there. Down here, I have a ribbon that I thought went really well with the whole boys and bugs and little frogs in the pockets type of theme. So I took the ribbon and I backed it in the green cardstock. And... Um, I also distressed it with the black set going all the way down. And here I have an orange, a blue, and a green bread in the corner as well. And that's for that page. Now with this um, photo mat, I only glued it on the corners here to create a pocket. And then in the pocket, I have these two journaling tags. Um, and one has a little jar with bugs. Um, what I did was I took some orange cardstock and I blacked that with um, black that back that with some black cardstock. I also took one of my Inka Dinka Doo circle stamps and I just stamped that little design on the orange cardstock. And then I took the jar. This was also part of the embossed sticker die cut sheet, and I just blacked that um, back. Why do I keep saying black that? I backed that on some blue cardstock. And that's what that one looks like. And then on the reverse side, I just stamped Remember and Event. I have a little heart. And this was one of my punch outs. This stamp here, I believe, is a Seven Gypsy stamp that I have in my stash. It's one of my favorite um, journal stamp sets. And I'm, oh, here it is. And this is what that looks like. And it's by Seven Gypsies. And I have it upside down. I put it back upside down, but this is what it looks like. And it's one of my favorites. I also have an eyelet on the top. And I ran some blue Rick Rack um, string. Because again, I wanted to keep it boily, uh, um, boyish. I don't want to put any uh, ribbons or lace or anything like that. And then I added some blue twine and a little dragonfly charm um, because of all the little insects and bug theme I have going on there. And that tucks back there. And when you tuck it, you can um, have the little charm sticking out so that it can be part of the, uh, you know, so that you can see it and it can hang over the photo. Or you can tuck it in behind. There's more than enough room, too. Then on this tag, same thing, I um, used my corner punch to round the corners. I have some green cardstock here. Again, some more stamping with those Inka Dinka Doo stamps. This little froggy is a embossed die cut froggy that came from the collection, which I also backed in a blue cardstock. And then on the opposite side, priority update. 
all came from that seven gypsy journal stamp set and a little heart punch there and that tucks in back there so that would be my first layout and the second part which is this one right here I'm gonna start at the top again going with the um, I'm not sure what this is <laughs> I call it a rickety rackety fence uh, I guess it's like a piece of wood. Well, you know what it is. It's part of the die cut embellishment sheet. Um, another little embossed die cut. Uh, I have three little brads here in the corner. Another star brad over here. I did that same treatment on this page with the ribbon and then the cardstock paper underneath the ribbon. I just glued that down with my um, hot glue gun and then I just added the green car stock as a border to the ribbon I tucked underneath this die cut here which is as you can see it's way up there and then it's going all the way around this is um, one of those like little swing tires that the kids play on I have two four by six photo mats again I backed that on black cardstock and green cardstock orange cardstock and black cardstock I added eyelets to the corner of each photo mat one in green, one in blue, and then I did some more of that squiggly line just to kind of mimic the little bricks in the back that also have the black squiggly doodle lines on them as well. Um, this is also a brad, and here this is also part of the embellishments from the um, um, die cut sheet, as is this little nail. And I love these little nails, I thought they were so cute. Um, it looks like the boys were at it trying to build a fort or something <laughs> and here I have a little heart again this is using my EK success punch which is this one right here and I have a little dragonfly charm on top of that I have some more brads here I have some more brads here some more hearts a little dragonfly charm and then I love 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 this sign it says no girls allowed but you see how they have the R backwards? I think that's so cute. Reminded me of the little rascals. Yeah, I'm telling you my age, guys. <laughs> and then, of course, I didn't glue this all the way down so that the photo could fit behind it. And then I have another little nail up here. And that's pretty much it, guys. So this is my boy much overdue project I was um, I just had to break from the monotony of girl stuff for a few moments so forgive me guys <laughs> but I do have a lot of boys in my life as well as girls and they needed um, I'm actually building an album um, and I've just been building albums for my um, for my boy layouts so that's my project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this um, and are inspired to go back into your stash and bring out some of them older products. I mean, guys, they still work. They're just as beautiful. They just need a little love and attention. <laughs> and we fell in love with them when we bought them, so we might as well put them to good use, right? Nothing wrong with using the new products. Nothing wrong with um, falling in love with the new products and um, even better when we take the old and we bring it in with the new I even love to do that even more so I hope this encourages inspires you to go on into your craft rooms pull out those old paper kits or those old embellishments get those eyelets out and those brads um, I know we all have them in our stash those little crazy scissors that used to do all the shapes before we started buying border punches um, our little sticker sheets that we paid so much for and never use. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it this week, guys. Go get your old stuff and let's make something new and pretty. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for always being so supportive. Um, and I hope Ronnie, Vicky, Jackie, and Becca are seeing this because you guys have inspired me to go boy this week. <laughs> I'll talk to you all soon and have a blessed day. Bye for now.